Greetings everyone, this is Amethyst2Z. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you think you'd enjoy my content, please subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back and, you know, watching my channel or whatever. Okay, so this is part three of the Sunline. This is the last video of the Sunline. We are catching up like I wanted to. So... Yeah, welcome to the 11th video of the palmistry series and the 6th video to the more advanced side of palmistry. If you've made it this far and if you've been keeping up with the series, good job. Um, I'm further on my mom's channel, but we're catching up, so... Alright, if your sunline starts from your fate line... If, it, if your sunline starts from your fate line, meaning if it's a joined, making a big Y on your hand, then maybe your fate line would be going up and then your sun line would be coming from it, kind of like a branch. That indicates outstanding achievement and respect from others due to your great effort in your work and hardworking, you know, people have a line like this. All right, if you have a, if you have a sun line that starts from your lifeline, and this is the lifeline, then like I said, it would connect to it like a Y or it would connect like an extra branch. Okay, so it indicates that you have extraordinary talent and could get important academic position during your life. You could be a talented writer. It is a sign of a talented writer, but also if you have a writer's fork, which I probably mentioned in another video, meaning on the headline when it forks, and anyone who's been keeping up with the videos know what a fork is. I shouldn't have to explain again. And if you don't know what it is, I am not going to give you the satisfaction. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to go back and watch that video. So, yeah. Also, a person with a line like that probably constantly struggles in life trying to get somewhere in their life. So... Their position could be elevated by how much they struggle, which may not make much sense, but I, hope, I really hope it does make sense. Okay, so if you have a sun line that starts from the amount of the moon, which is here, okay, it shows amount of popularity, meaning you could get success with the help of support from others, be it family or friends or just people who look up to you. Yeah, this kind of line is mostly found in musicians and in entertainers, like people who entertain comedians and shit like that. So, if you have a broken sun line, meaning it would look kind of like this, okay, this is a break. Or it would be like this, like I mentioned in another video, it would be like that. Alright, so that shows great frustrations during your career. If it has a break, then resumes its course parallel to the break. Meaning, exactly like this. Like if it's going and then there's like a blank space and then it goes, that's what that is. Alright, it means you could gain recognition and success after, after certain life experiences. Alright, or past experiences. If your sunline is intermittent, intermittent, like with a lot of, you know, just, it, it's not a straight line and it's not read clearly, it's just intermittent, it indicates that you don't have big career leaps and people in your life probably, or you maybe blame people a lot for you not getting success, or you may just have a rough time gaining success because it seems like other people is always hindering your you know, growth and things like that. All right, if you have a wavy sun line, and yes, sun lines can be wavy. It's rare, but it can happen. So if it's wavy, you may lack confidence in your abilities and you're afraid to face challenges in life. Therefore, there are many ups and downs in your career. All right, so if you have a doubled sun line, and you can have more than one sun line. So if it's doubled, meaning two going on each side and like I mentioned in the other videos it could have been on this channel or on my mom's channel but you can't mistake a doubled fate line for a fate line in the sun line and you can't 
mistake a doubled sun line for a fate yet line and a sun line. You really have to know. So your fate line will be in the center of your hand, and then the doubles will be right next to each other. Or sometimes there's no fate line, and then the sun line is mistaken for the fate line. That's why you have to get a reading. All of my contact information is in the description below. Okay, so if you have multiple sun lines, and not everybody has multiple sun lines, like I mentioned, only some people do, all right? So, and this means you have three or four or more. It shows that you don't really do well financially, but <laughs> financially. It means that you don't do well, like, with your finances, but only because since there's so many lines, there's so many different ways that your finances could go. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't be successful. It just means that, you know, your situation would be more complicated than people with just one sun line or, you know, just with straightforward lines that are clear and easy to read okay so yeah you might have an income but compared to your spendings you're probably not doing very well people with this problem probably just have to you know learn how to manage their money better and learn how to you know save better all right so if your sun line is parallel to your fate line so if your fate line's here and if it's parallel to it um, few people have this. It means you could gain huge success and enjoy a good reputation in your life, okay? If you have sunline that has branches that go up, it means incoming luck, appreciation of others, and you might gain success or fame out of um, a sudden skill that you developed or a special skill that you have or that you've always had. If you have sunline with downward branches, it means you're full of dreams but inclined to be unrealistic and search for fame and fortune and just you got your head in the clouds you're not dreaming and going for your dreams you're just dreaming and waiting for things to come to you so that's what downward branches are and these lines are changeable so if you have it you know the steps to change that all right if it extends to the base of your forefinger it indicates great fame from the middle age based on your hard life's work. If you have islands, and anyone who's watched my videos, you know that islands are like little circles. Okay, it indicates troubles in your reputation. Um, if a man has this on the intersection of his sun and heart line, all right, it means that he loses his high position due to too much lust or or lust for fame, or, you know, that's what that means, but that's only for the men, all right? So if you have a cross in your sun line, and like I said, crosses, a lot of the time crosses aren't exactly a good thing if they're found on your main lines. Crosses by themselves can be good, like the mystic cross, and crosses under either of your fingers, either of these fingers, but, you know, overall... Like, if you find a cross on your heart line, it's not really a good sign or on your lifeline or anything like that. It usually means problems. So that is the end of this video. That is the third video to the sun line. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was informative. And thank you for catching up with the palmistry series. So, and if you want a reading or any spell work done, you can contact me or you can contact High Priestess Girl Queen. We are both always available to answer your messages. Do not call. And we get, away, we get with you as soon as we can. So I hope this was informative. I hope it sparks an interest in getting your palms read. Like I said, all my contact information is in the description below. And this is Amethyst Tuesday wishing you well from afar.